Hey guys, it's Mark with Balls Out Ball Pythons. Uh, it's pretty late at night. I had some pippers. I noticed that uh, Pinstripe was halfway out earlier today when I was checking. I'm fixing to cut these guys real quick and see what we have in here. This was a spinner blast. This is actually pipping about three days earlier than it should be. Um, this is day 52. Um, we have just spinner blast to normal. And Let's see what we have. I just want to see this one because, well, I think it's a bumblebee. I love bumblebees. Let go. Thank you. All right, so it's just me tonight. Shout out to all my regular uh, family members that are usually here, family and friends. And I guess I better keep in mind that I'm doing my own video on a tripod, so I'm sitting here cutting and stuff like I normally do, thinking the camera's following me. Well, it's just not following me. Bumblebee. Pretty little bumblebee. I'm actually, probably not going to cut that one egg because it, it looks really... That's pretty. Okay, that, that one egg looks really, really plump and juicy right there. I don't think I'm going to cut that one. I just want to give it a few more days to pip on its own. Alright. Hey there little pinstripe. So this is a pinstripe that was halfway out earlier and after seeing me I think decided to go back in his house. Her house, whatever. I had a, I guess I'll tell you guys, I, I had clutch number 15 I believe. It was an inchy to a spider everything in the whole clutch died so it was dead in the egg um, yeah it was terrible I noticed that the eggs felt kind of like rubber on the day they were supposed to pip so this is a really nice striped uh, oh oh check this out though on a on a lighter note or a better note or however whatever note you want to call it um, my inchy I've been saying it looked like he had a little something going on with him. Well, I bred him to a, a Mojave. I didn't get um, a Mochi, Moki, whatever they're calling it. I don't even know. Um, oh, sorry. I'm cleaning my hands. Um, I bred it to the Mojave, and I ended up producing a Mojave Harlequin. <laughs> pretty much almost fully striped that was pretty cool so I will show you guys on another video and let's see here what we have in this one looks like another pinstripe yeah yep another pin there we go maybe if I did it like this I can yeah, you can still see when I cut. Cool. This was a, what, nine egg clutch? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine eggs. From a, I believe it was a wild caught or captive hatched female that I bought about five years ago. She seems to give me a clutch every other year, which is fine with me. Especially when they're big ones like this. I think her last clutch was 10 eggs. Alright. I was kind of kind of sad because I haven't made very many bumblebees this year. And I love bumblebees. Everybody loved a bumblebee. And there we have another one. Juice goo running down my hand. There we go. I might go ahead and cut this other one anyways. I see everybody else doing it. it just take a little longer for it to come out of the egg. Let's see here. I'll think about it while I cut every other one. Yeah, and then we'll... Ooh, I think I might have got the elusive normal. I did. Normally. Yay. Hope you guys could see that. Oh, I'm just streaming it everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just a little much here. Alright. 
comes to me. Let's see here. It's a gusher. All right, the reason I put that little mark on there, I hate actually putting any kind of ink or anything on there. Um, I put that on because it was a rollout. I just wanted to see, you know, I just wanted to remember which one was the rollout on this one, I think. I think I had a couple of rollouts. I think that one was too. So it's looking like she rolled me out a lemon blast. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of lemon blasts. If anybody needs a lemon blast, let me know. Wow. Nice. Like the little red stripe across the face. Oh, just kidding. That's just a blood vessel. Hey, don't stick your head out yet. Ew. Okay, so three more eggs. It's weird how some of them, the ones on the ends, didn't know. Uh, Alright, fine. The ones on the ends didn't know. Uh, didn't pip or sink in or anything. It's like they held their their moisture very well. All right, a bumblebee. Yeah. Oh, I haven't hit a spinner blast in this clutch yet. I need a spinner blast. Oh, pretty. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Come on, man. Not take the picture. Just zoom in. There we go. Pretty little bumblebee. Okay, Paul. Shout out to Paul. He's letting his presence be known. <laughs> uh, shout out to Paul Sims. Sims Reptiles. Sending me pictures or something. Um, shout out to Chad. Hope you're feeling much better, buddy. Um, Austin and uh, Tony Simpson with Simpson Exotics. Well, Austin with Austin Sweeney and Tony Simpson with Simpson Exotics. Shout out to you guys, too. And it looks like another lemon blast. Well, Mr. Wiggles, my spinner blast, was obviously throwing lemon blasts this year. I think this is my last clutch from him, so I think that's about my fifth or sixth one this year. Oh, there you are. Ha. keep forgetting that uh, I zoomed in on everything there. All right, well, we have this one last gusher. I'm not going to cut it. I have decided that I'm going to let that one pip. Or at least I'm going to put it in here with the other ones <laughs> and give it a chance to pip because it feels really, oh wait, can you see, squishy. So I'll just put it in here with the other guys as if I had cut it and just not cut that one yet. I just don't think that one's quite ready for the cutting. And we'll just say hmm, it was a normal for now. And I'll let you guys know on a, on a later video in a few days, like an update video or something, what that was. But I'm just not going to cut that one. I just don't feel good about cutting it yet. So, sorry guys. I will, you know, I will do more. Um, I'm probably fixing to cut another clutch that, well, oh, I'm zoomed in. I'm like, how in the heck? There we go. I'm probably about to cut another clutch too that was from a banded, well, it was from a black pewter that's possibly a black pewter trick I think it is a black pewter trick but I'm not 100% like my other one um, I bred him to a pastel a banded pastel girl and I'm really hoping to hit another silver streak so I love them um, I'm not gonna keep rambling on I will let you guys go now we have an update video that will be coming there we go see didn't cut him her. Okay, well this is Mark with Balls Outball Pythons, out.